going to be able to take out. And Jose got the worst of that one, did Look at Rebalta's legs, they're shot. There's no spring in his legs. This is all instinct. Body shot and an uppercut again. Rebalta taking a lot of punishment in this round. Yeah, hell yeah. That's a Mike Tesson. Mantan juara kelas berat sejati asal Amerika Serikat Yang pernah mengakui bahwa hanya ada satu petinju yang paling kuat terhadap pukulannya Yaitu adalah Josh Ribalta Seorang kelas berat asal negara Kuba Dan bukan tanpa alasan mengapa McTesson melebihi Josh Ribalta Sebagai seorang petinju yang paling tahan terhadap pukulannya Ketika digelarnya pertandingan antara McTesson versus Josh Ribalta yaitu pada tanggal 17 Agustus tahun 1986 di Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino di Atlantic City, New Jersey, Amerika Serikat di mana pada pertandingan ini Josh Ribalta mampu menahan pukulan-pukulan terbaik dari Mike Tesson hingga di ronde ke-10 pertandingan ini walaupun Josh Ribalta sudah dua kali dijatuhkan oleh Mike Tesson yaitu di ronde ke-3 dan di ronde ke-8 pertandingan ini namun Josh Ribalta selalu mampu bangkit berdiri dan kembali memberikan perlawanan kepada Mike Tesson bahkan Mike Tesson mengakui bahwa pada saat itu Mike Tesson harus mengeluarkan semua kemampuannya untuk mengalahkan Josh Ribalta dengan Mike Tesson berkata saya telah memukul Josh Ribalta dengan segala yang saya miliki dan ia telah menerima banyak pukulan berat dari saya namun ia terus mendatangi saya Tutur Mike Tesson. Sebelum turun di ke-10 pertandingan ini, wasit akhirnya menghentikan pertandingan ini dengan kemenangan TKO bagi Mike Tesson. Namun bagaimana jalannya pertandingan ini hingga Mike Tesson melebihi Josh Ribalta sebagai petinju yang paling kuat terhadap pukulannya? Mari kita simak cuplikan-cuplikan video berikut. Tyson's punches. 
Why you wrestling? Bring it loose. Nice and clean. Scoring the fight for it. Oh, they want him to get careless. Are you holding it? Both his bodies. I tell you, he's in fabulous shape. Very close to his opponent. Rebolt has been trying to throw some straight right hands. Right, it's not going to work. The type of punch is going to work. Oh, Mike Tyson is the uppercut. You got to bring him under because Tyson has that bob and weave and style. Walter got himself in trouble on the ropes again. Little right hand partially caught on the gloves. But he's, he is in there with a professional. He is dominating the fight. And again, the point right now is to see whether Tyson can sustain his fury and cut this big man down. In fact, uh, Rabot has been giving away rounds, especially inside. You notice that uh, Tyson throws a great deal of body shots. getting off the quicker punches there. When those guys stand toe to toe like this, just a second ago, and exchange catches breath. Well, he never lets up. He keeps that momentum. He's like a train, locomotive. Right hand by Revolta. But he pays the price for every right hand he throws. Me, Ray, Rebonta's legs just he, he seems to be a little more stiff legged. He doesn't seem to have much bounce. Intentions, bad intentions, mean intentions, an old saying of Customato. Let's see if so. And what he tells us went on in Rebonta's corner after that round, during that uh, time. Yeah, because unlike Tillis or Green, as you mentioned, Rebalta is staying in the fight. Rebalta has stand power. I mean, no one has put too much on Rebalta. It's a combination from Rebalta and also a low blow by Rebalta. The guy has a chin. Rebalta has a good chin. And also, like uh, Tyson's going to say, you got to throw more punches. Less than one punch. Tyson just missing that uppercut. All right, break, Ryan. Run and loose. Run and loose. Hasn't let Tyson double up as much as Mike would like to, or as Kevin Rooney in his corner would like him to. That was a good left hand. Rebolta's fighting. Hey, hey. Throw some punches and did land some punches. Uh, I think Jose's picking up the pace, as you said, a little. And is that vaunted punching power of Mike Tyson going to be able to take out the big, tough heavyweight so he hasn't, I think, this style creates problems for a guy like Mike Tyson. Tyson also, like his corner, once again stated, he has to throw more than one punch. He has worked both hands. Another thing to mention is that Mike Tyson has never knocked out an opponent after the sixth round, so there's some new territory here for Tyson. And of course, Tyson went 10 rounds with Quick Tillis. There was a big right hand, and that hurt the ball. Let him go. Let him go. Hit him on the break. Are you holding? 
There's Tyson at work on the ropes, and there's that big right. Mr. Burbick saying, my goodness, how hard does he hit? Perfect exchange to start this, the eighth round. Look at Rebalta's legs, they're shot. There's no spring in his legs. This is all instinct. Body shot and an uppercut again. Rebalta taking a lot of punishment in this round. And another big right hand. Back to the body. Landing in the round. His mouthpiece has been knocked out so quite naturally. He, he's in for a broken jaw here. There is no spring. And there's a smashing left hand. And wisely, Tony Battle will send five. Because Rebalta's arms were locked in the ropes. Tyson to work is a nice no, uppercut, up followed by a good two-punch combination and two right mouthpiece all the way down to the casino. Later on in the round, it looked like he knocked something else out of his mouth, and it wasn't a mouthpiece, and I hate to even think about what it was. <laughs> Just one big punch somewhere early in the fight, and Tyson has been wearing down a game opponent. And we'll see if down. he can wear them all the way down. Stop me. Don't, don't hit him. And Rivalta's going to have to muster don't some legs. For... Oh, another big left hand. Oh, his legs. And he's gone. out. He's really out. And no, just on no. top of Mike Tyson. No. And Tony Battle will have to take a long look here. A right hand does zing by the chin of Rivalta. It's only a question of time. Let him go. Let him go. I don't know if this fight makes the both a star in Miami, but he's earned some respect. No question about it. He's not run. He's not just tried to survive. He's tried to fight the man. with an uppercut. Tillis did it against Green, but Green ran from it. And Tillis tried to stay out of harm's way, pretty much. Jose Rebalta has fought it. He's seriously hurt this time, but... Hey, how you doing? Uh, you want to continue? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. So if you want to continue, he said, yeah, hell yeah. That's a fighter. And that's it. I'm going to believe that he couldn't have survived that round. Well, a tough way to go down to defeat by Jose Rivalta. Once again, he's another, another, a case of another fighter who probably made more friends. Let's take another look, Ray, at the end of it all. Big left hand there. That put Rivalta down. Here, Tyson with that aggressive style and working the left hook. He was able to hurt Rivalta a number of times, but Rivalta maintained his composure, very, very poised, and was able to retaliate. 